First Corinthians chapter 3. Very quickly. The wisdom of man is a foolishness to God. First Corinthians chapter 3 verse 19. Very quickly. The Bible says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Hallelujah. In their own word, craftiness. That is it. I met a former manager of uh, Dangote Smith <laughs> in Guariba here. Somebody led me that he was sick to pray for him. I don't know him before, but because they needed somebody to pray for him, they have gone around with him, everywhere with him, but then there was not recovery. So when I arrived, I met him. The house that I enter in Guaripa here, when they were saying that he was a manager of uh, Dangote Smith, Generally, not, not a, a, a particular area or whatever. No, 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 no. The first manager. The first what? Manager. The one that has right to distribute or give right to anything. And see how the money coming. When I reached there, I was talking to him. The man said to me, man of God, I say yes. He was so depressed crying and crying he said he has about four governors that he sponsored them and they become governors he began to talk about the people he sponsored in politics the people he sponsored in the in the in the aspirant of a senatorial seat the people he sponsored in the house of rest seat whatever he was talking about people that he gave them money he dashed them money whatever but today he has no money child the man said to me whenever he's telling people about himself people will think that he's lying man of god i will show you my pictures i will show you who i am i will show you the man brought out a lot of pictures for me to watch do not remain letter with memory you have to continue with the feature because if you are if you are left with memory you will be think and be depressed ah! i watched this man picture i saw him together with a dangote like this i saw him in his own office i see how people are guiding him i see the of the kind of office that he had i see the kind of money he was counting in some offices i see the distribution whatever whatever i see how people are gathering and he's talking to them i saw different type of pictures Amen. I said, wow. I said, some man can go up and come down. Tell your neighbor, what goes up will come down. That is only one thing that can make you to remain up there. Tell your neighbor, get wisdom. Get wisdom. It's very important when you have everybody will come. Even though you want to give anyone or you want to help the people, watch out on your future. Watch out on what you are doing. Watch out in whatever you are doing. Some of us do not plan and plan together with our health. Amen. Some of us do not plan and plan together with our health. You plan your life, you don't put your health inside. You plan your life, you don't put, uh, you don't plan, you don't plan about uh, your bills at home until the Nepa bill comes, you will remember that the Nepas are there. Until water bill comes, you will remember that is water bill. Until this bill comes, the other bill come. I tell you, I was so surprised. I was sitting there in my house. A somebody who works somewhere very great. A brother to a house of rep member come to borrow 50,000 from me, Apostle John. Chai. The word can turn. Amen. Do you know what he was looking for the 50,000 for? He was looking for the 50,000 for, for gas. So that his wife, they can be able to cook at home. Gas was finished. This one was finished. The other one was finished. The other one was finished. They have to come. He has to come to borrow. He said, man of God, I will not be ashamed. 
When I go to this one, they will say, what about your brother? When I go to this one, they will say, what about your brother? When I come to this one, because they know him as a younger brother to house of rape member. So no one wants to borrow him money. Hey! He now say, man of God, I will open it up to you. What can you do to help me? I look at him, I look at him. Kai. Toh. But in body she. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. That is it. He was able to receive from me. But I've never received anything from him. Hallelujah. I've never what? Receive anything from him. You have to be very careful. Very what? Very careful. I was talking to a brother that lost his wife. I was his best man in his wedding. The woman that died, bah, I was their best man. The chief best man in that wedding. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen. I was asking him and said, it's been for a long time I've not seen your wife. This is about about close to two years now. I've not seen them. When I went there, I said to him, I said, ah, what actually happened to her? I want to know. He told me. And I see that actually she was sick. But then he needed money to take care of her. Women, when your husband bring money, you cook chicken. Shh. Think about your health. You want to drink month. In fact, you need mineral. What do you want to take? I need ice cream. My sister, check your health. Make sure that your husband is spending money and saving money. If there is no service, the day you need the money, the money that you have spent, the money that you have used, the money that you have seen, you will still need for that money that same day. And the money will not be there. You will end up dying. Because there is no money. Child. Oh yeah. Very painful. Very, very what? Very painful. First hmm. Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20. I'll read 20, 21, and 25. Very quickly. Then I'll pick the number 5 and the stuff from there. I prepare it up to 10. But I'll stop from there because of the time. The Bible says, Dear, I mean, where is the wise? Where, where is the scripts? Where is the dispatches of this world? Had not God made foolish the why I mean the wisdom of this world? God have made a foolish the wisdom of what? Have made foolish the wisdom of what? This world. Like a woman who was sick in the hospital. They told the husband to buy drugs. The husband was not with money. The money has gone. The man was crying looking for whom to help him even borrow him. There was not money. He keep on going and coming back. He will talk to his wife. Can you, do you have anybody to borrow money so that after you are fine, I will look for money and give them. The woman will say, no, I don't have anybody. The woman died. When they were changing her clothes, they find out that there was one thing here that women used to use in the market. And there were plenty money inside there. That will have buy this medicine hundred times inside that place. When they find it out and look at the they call the husband up and say, Look at money here. Did your wife told you that there is no money? He said, Yes. He said, Your money, your wife has money. Look at money here. The man do like this and slap dead body. Pass. He said, Go with this slap. This money, I'm not using it for a burial. I will buy chicken and eat it. The man was very angry. 
In fact, he said he, will not, he was not going to, to attain her burial. Now, you don't use wisdom. Your, your foolishness, you think that, let me keep my money. Let it, let it be that my husband should be the one to spend the money. My sister, is your body. If you have it, bring it out. Don't say, I'm keeping my money for my business. <laughs> you will die and leave your business. Bring it. Bring it. When you keep it, you, when you keep it there, it will stay there. When something happens to you, they will come and open the bank, open the account, wherever you kept the money, they will use the money anyhow. Get wisdom. Your health first before any other thing. Before any other thing, never allow yourself to be foolish. To be foolish. Yes, verse uh, 21. Verse 21. For the scripture said, For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. When you believe, you have helped yourself. When you believe, you have saved yourself. When you believe in the wisdom that God brings, you have delivered yourself. When you believe, you have totally what? Free yourself. That's it. There is one liman that always he will make sure that, that, that he will make sure that his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his worship, worship brothers, that is other Muslims, with him there. Nobody become a Christian or convert to Christian to a point that he can fight to bring you back to any length to make sure you come back to Islam. But something happened. When this man was about to die, do you know what? He sent his wife, go and call man of God for me. The man of God should not come with the Bible. When he comes, he should enter my house. He said, let him not come with suit. He should wear the way the Muslim dress. Then the man of God arrived there. He met him and said, what do you want? He said, first and foremost, give me Jesus. He said, I want Jesus. I want to receive him. I want to receive Jesus. But don't tell anybody. He was being prayed for. They led him to Christ. And there was water in his house. The master baptized me. They baptized him. After the baptism, they prayed for the man. And the man of God went back. Two days later, the man died. To let them know that if you, where I told you that we are going, I'm not going there. The man changed his mind. Because if he announced it, they will beat him as he beat others. If he announce it, they will deal with him as he deal with others. For that reason, I am wise. I am not going where you are going. Even when you want to die, get wisdom. Hallelujah. Ah, amen. When a Muslim come, they wanted to do his burial, whatever, whatever. His wife said, no, he's not a Muslim. They said, no, he's the Ali man. Pastor came, they refused. And the pastor told them, he said, don't worry. Madam, allow them to bury him. But before they bury him, I will bury him first. The man of God went and fetched a sand. Came inside his room. Pour sand on his body. And lead him, lay him down. On there. After that, he left. They now came and carried him and went and dropped him. It doesn't matter who bury you. But your soul, whom your soul go to, matters a lot. Are we together? Amen. 25. Because of the foolishness of God, hallelujah, 
because the what the foolishness of god is wiser than men foolishness of god is wiser than what men and the weakness of god is stronger than men that's it imagine how jesus came with wisdom to overcome satan Satan told that he, were, he was not actually the son of God. He, try, he tried him. When he later found out that he's the son of God, then later on he now said, ah, if I kill him the way other, other men, men of God were killed, nobody will believe in him again. Hallelujah. So he has to plan, make the Pharisees to stand against him. He was sold at the end of it. He was pimpled and they crucified after he died. Satan was so surprised when Jesus came to fight him, fought him in hell. He was surprised. Who is this? Who asked you to come here? How did he know that we are here? He was surprised that Jesus visited hell to free everyone that were in the prison and collected the key of life and death. Resurrected from that day, Satan has been in anger. That is why he's against anyone that says he's a Christian. When you are a Christian, you are under the journey of general persecution. General word? Persecution. So don't, don't, don't say to yourself, sometimes you find some people who say it, that uh, why me when something has happened to them, you say, they will say, why me, why me? Now, if you are asking the question, why you, who do you want such an attack to come to? Because already you are choosing to glorify God. Already you are choosing to manifest—I mean, to manifest—to manifest whatever God has as an inheritance. If the devil finds out that you carry something big, he comes against you. Amen. He comes against you. That is true. Hallelujah. Amen. Last month, there was a man of God. They said. Overnight, his wife died. Then, he told the people to keep her at home that he's going to church to preach. When he went to church, he preached. He finished preaching. That day, every sick they brought were healed. Every sick they brought were healed. He left the church. The Lord led him to hospital. He found about two people who were dead. He brought them back to life. When he reached his house, he asked God and said, Lord, now is my wife turn. He laid his hand on her. The Lord said, no, go and bury her. The foolishness of God is what? Is what? How will God use this man to raise others? Now he did not raise his wife. Is the foolishness of God. He know what he's doing. To you, you will say, you will abuse and insult the man. To you, you will say, he has done for all that. Why can't he do to him, son? Hallelujah. There are things God do them or allow them to happen for a purpose. Hallelujah. For a purpose. For one thing or the other, for him to be glorified. Tomorrow he will end to gain something. Don't be surprised. He watch and see that that woman, if she come back to life, maybe when she dies, she was very righteous with God. Maybe if she remain alive, she will turn out to become a sinner later. And her soul will go to hell. So if God say, leave her alone, what happened? To you, you will find it as foolishness of God. But to God is what? Wiseness. Hallelujah. In your area, you find out that a man that did not go to school is the one that is richer than you is the foolishness of God. A man that did not go to school is the one that is richer in the area is the foolishness of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They come to select somebody to become a, a chairman of particular area council. 
and they find nobody you are there qualified but education but in standard but in speech but yet they pick the man that cannot write and that say he is the one that is qualified to be there is the foolishness of god you will be asking question what is this my brother that is the relationship that man has with god that made god to pick him but your wisdom your education have overshadowed you is making you to see yourself correct and also equal with god and that thing makes god hands to be out of your reach to be out of your reach that's it hallelujah that's it when i went to pray for buhari chief of staffs the last one not the one that died the one that replaced him i went to pray for his son his son was mad they kept him in a room for a long time he was schooling in outside country specifically in mexico but then he roamed my day. They brought him back home after so many trials of uh, medical. But then they brought him home and kept him. Then I got a connection to go there and pray for him. I arrived there. When I reached, the man has about three parlors. I all together? Three sitting rooms. When I sit down in the first one, they told me, I said, no. I should come. I said, yeah, another one day. They say yes. I moved to the next one. They say that is another one. I say, here yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I went to the last one. I waited for him there. So when I was peeping like this, I saw another one inside. That one is a bedroom, city room. The man was inside there. I just sat down very quiet. When the man came, do you know what the man did? Look at the whole the whole security men around him and the type of people that are walking in his house when this man came out do you know what he looked at me they told him that i'm around he has never met me before he was wearing slippers he removed his slippers that man squat like this and greeted me i stood up i said no sir Abba. Abba. he said no 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 I'm welcoming the anointing you carry. <laughs> My brother, what someone carry is what you should be interested on. See, let me tell you. Get wisdom. It will bring success. When he did that and said that, I relaxed. They brought water for me to drink. The man said, no, give me. He served me water by himself. Because looking at him, my heart was deep in him. After all, I drank the water. He said, they will serve me food. But before then, can I show you where my son is? He didn't say, come and show him where my son is. No, can I show you? I said, no problem, sir. He took me there by himself. The man warmed my heart, warmed the spirit that I carry. When I reached there already, because of the way he moves, in fact, I told him, I said, when I saw his son, I told him, I said, lock the door behind me. He said, hey? This man inside will tear you. I said, he will not tear me. The way you honor God, the anointing have increased. See, honor Honoring God is a fellowship. When you honor God, anointing increases. The dunamis in that person will begin to be reproduction. It will begin to be reproducing. And you will see that the power of dunamis will help with the power of Esau. With the power, from the power of Esau, it will come to Kratos. You will find out that one way or the other, this man, no matter what could be the problem, there must be a solution. Some people destroy what will have helped them. And then you go out there and sit down and be blaming the man of God. I went to see a man of God, but then I don't think that he has the power that I'm looking for. No, my brother, your capacity you brought was too small. The way this man honor himself, the capacity open wide. Very, very wide. It opened. 
That is it. Do you know why a child can easily come out from the mother's womb? When the mother lie down because of the child, the, the honor of the mother made the mother to, I mean, make a child to easily come. When the mother lie down, hallelujah, the capacity begin to open. The capacity begin to open. The child will be pushing a little, a little, a little because of the lying down, honoring of his coming that the mother did. You find out the child will come out. Boom. The nurse will announce, congratulations, madam. You have gotten a bouncing baby girl. You have gotten a bouncing baby boy. The child will come out because the mother has honored him. But we are, we are missing out on many things. How to draw the oil. How to draw the anointing. How to get connected with whatever we want from God. We should get connected. Hallelujah. The number five. Where I said I will stop. Have I read 25 already? All right. Number five. I, I, I said I will stop there. The wisdom of this world is false. Substitute for the wisdom of God. I come again. The wisdom of this world is a false substitute for the wisdom of God. For the wisdom of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Verse 4. The Bible says, and my speech and my preaching was not with entities, words of man's wisdom, but in the demonstration of what? Of what? Of the spirit and of the power. When you get wisdom of God, the demonstration that people will see that comes from you is of the spirit and is of what? Of power. Is of the spirit and is of power. Paul says that my preaching and my, 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 my speech and my teaching they are not of the empty words or in vain words of man or of common thinkings of man but they are a demonstration of the spirit and power. Hallelujah. Verse 5. Then I'll jump to 13. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but we are in the power of God. Never allowed your wisdom, your faith to stand on the wisdom of men, but in the wisdom of God. If you allow your faith to depend on the wisdom of men, you will lose a lot. Things will go wrong and wrong and keep on wrong. 13. You can read the rest because of time. Which things also we speak not in the worlds which men's wisdoms teach it, but which the Holy Ghost teach it. Comparing spiritual things with what? Spiritual. Don't allow any man to deceive you. A woman to deceive you. If God has pointed you to go and see this man of God, do not allow somebody to distract you. And if God is leading you to have one particular job, do not allow anyone to distract you. Maybe you have a job about th three categories. You find that you have a job about uh, maybe with a salary any about 50,000 naira. The other one 200,000 naira. And the other one 500,000 naira. They ask you to choose 50,000 naira. You become so angry. You become so what? No, my brother. Don't become angry. Amen. Don't become angry. There are other things that are very important concerning your life. Very, very important. A guy got a job about three. And after he got his job, he told me how much, how much he will be receiving by the jobs. I said, okay, which one do you want among these jobs? They are government jobs. Governmental jobs. 
he picked the one that is the highest and they were going to post him somewhere in a um uh, where that they, they were doing this sharia matter at that time zamfara hallelujah in zamfara state and then the lower one was in abuja i told him i said pick this lower one and the guy said to me pastor truly i understand that you are praying for me now god has blessed me i think from here i am on my own <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, from here, he's in his own. He will take care of himself. I said, no. Don't do that. I do all I could to make sure that I'm able to help him. But this guy still insisted. Still insisted. Then, I allow him. He got the job. He traveled to Zamfara. Immediately, he entered the office. He collected the first salary. The second month. There was a very large problem that arise in between him and the colleagues. Hallelujah. They were fighting in the office from nowhere. Knife came. Pew, he died. There are many reasons why you choose what God says you should choose. When the Lord says, I will satisfy you with a long life. In the book of Psalm 91, he know the reason. He said, I will satisfy you with a long life. It is true. There are long life. And God can give long life. But then, until you submit to what he said. That's true. See, let me tell you. You can be here. I am guiding you for something. If you are stubborn, I can't be able to save you. No, you didn't hear me well. If anointing of Jesus Christ did not save Judah the Carriers, I tell you, even though you are stubborn, even though I carry what type of anointing, I can't save you as long as you are stubborn to that anointing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. James chapter 3 verse 13 and um, 17. Or to 17. I will stop there. James chapter 3. The Bible says, Who is a wise man and endure with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation. His words with what? Meekness. Listen to qualities. His words with what? Meekness of wisdom. The next verse. But if ye have bitter envy, strife, I mean strife in your heart, glory not and lie not against the truth. 15. This wisdom descended not from above, but it's earthly, sexual, the village. Hallelujah. The last verse there. Fast, 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 fast. Verse 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure. Clap your hand for Jesus. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure. Then peaceable, gentle, easy to what? To entreat it. Full of and good without and without that is the type of wisdom I'm talking about celebrate Jesus Christ that is the type of wisdom I'm talking about I'll stop from here sorry you see the way my mood is today amen I was so loaded to come to church until we receive the the sad news of this guy's wife Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Sometimes when you have a problem, you should try and move around or let everybody do his own best. Hallelujah. Amen. I was asking him that you didn't think about me. Say, man of God, just leave it. The thing just, the thing escaped me. 
See, let me tell you, when death is coming, he can tie up the eyes of many. He can make you not to even think about those that can help you. Hallelujah. You know, I was telling you the story of uh, uh, Buhari's uh, chief of staff. Yeah, his son become fine because where I was left inside that room throughout that particular hour. I've spent five hours with him. The Lord brought him back. Hallelujah. And he become himself. The guy is doing well. Time to time he do call me. Hallelujah. He do call me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. No, that is the fact. The Bible says, I will test my presence through your presence. So, always understand that God can do all things. But he needs you to believe. He can give you a chance to what? To believe. See, let me tell you something. Don't claim you believe when you don't believe. Because your claim will turn out to be hypocrisy. And do you know what? God hates hypocrites. So, when you claim you are there, and that is what God hates, no matter what they try to do to help you, it will never work. So, you have to create originality, create genuineness around your belief. No matter what it will take you, create it. And then it will work and bring every achievement you will ever wish to have. That is true. Never you, never you pretend before God because His Spirit searches our heart. His Spirit searches our spirit. And you should know that in the presence of God, God does not use juju like when you go to an abalis, you can pretend before Him and lie before abalis, maybe and go free. But then before God, you cannot go free. That was what happened to Ananias and Sapphira. Amen. They lied. And Peter confirmed today. Why did you lie against the Holy Spirit? And the Holy Spirit judged him. Instantly, he died. So the Holy Spirit can kill you. The same Holy Spirit that can help you can do what? Remember I told you in the all night that um, when God wants to do miracles, signs and wonders... That is positive one. That is a negative one. Yes. Sans and wonders has positive and negative. When it comes, if there is any winch standing on your way of your victory, the first and foremost what God will do is to kill that enemy. That is a negative, negative work. He does. And they give you that he prefer to help. Now, if you turn out to be an enemy at that time, what happens to you? Negative manifestation. That's it. Hallelujah. The Lord will help us. We meet again when I come with uh, wisdom brings success. By the grace of God, by them, I may have been more cheer up. Hallelujah. Always understand that we increase in knowledge. We increase in guidance of God. Look for them. Always understand that God has divine protection, strength and power, peace and contentment with happiness, good and self-image, prosperity and good health with a long life. God bless your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are sitting, if the Lord is touching your heart to stand up, receive this prayer. Say after me, Almighty God, grant me the wisdom that I need to negate this world to succeed in all I do in the midst of the people. Lord, I ask for divine wisdom to operate in my life in my working place say oh god arise let your wisdom overshadow me overshadow my life overshadow my career lord lord that power from on high and wisdom from above overshadow me overshadow me 
overshadow my life, my home, my career. Say, Father, arise, release upon me from your power above. Do not allow me to be ignorant to the things I see. Say, O oh Lord, reveal to me every secret behind my problems in life, in life, in life. Say, Lord, I receive the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, understanding in Christ Jesus. Say, Lord, I enter into God's throne of wisdom, of wisdom to achieve success. Say, Father, I receive grace and mercy to excel in all, in all I do in life. Open your mouth and pray this prayer. Pick any of the prayer point. Open your mouth and pray. We come to the end of service today. Masha kata rabatata. Jeneke pete ribada gada haya. Mafata she te 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 te. Mafata la parada da 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 da. Open your mouth and pray. Haya manashera. Brena kato se hila. Brata kada da hila te. Shaka good health and long life. Lord, give me wisdom, 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 wisdom. Lord, give me, show me of the secret of my life. Open your mouth and pray. Are you praying? Are you praying? Aya, 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 are you praying? Are you praying? What a mighty God! What a mighty God! Open your mouth and pray. Say to yourself, no weapon, fire my destiny to prosper. 
Lord, we perform against me shall prosper. Say to yourself, every tongue that is rise against me in the church, I condemn. Say to yourself, I am establishing righteousness. Say to yourself, I take the sword of the spirit. Say to yourself, I am redeemed from the curse of your own. Say to yourself, I am redeemed from poverty. Say to yourself, I am redeemed from sickness. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. I will have, I will have, I will have allowed us to go deeper in prayer. Get ready. We are going to be meeting on Thursday. Raise up your hand wherever you are. I'm trying to be fast. You are not going back empty handed. Amen. If I be a man of God, everything that which has been tying you are loose from now. Amen. They are all loose from now. Amen. Whatever that has been tying you backward, they are loose from today. Amen. Receive breakthrough. Receive breakthrough I receive. in your career, I in your business, Amen. in your marriage, Amen. in yourself, Amen. in your education. Amen. Receive breakthrough. I receive. What trouble is your mind right from today will trouble you no more. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me hear the receiver shout a bigger. Success will look for you. Prosperity will look for you. Amen. Become prosperous. Become prosperous. Become prosperous. Become prosperous. Become prosperous. Shout and receive a rebel. A release. Anointing. A victory and success. Anoint your victory and success. Every days of your life. Victory and success. Every time of your work. Victory and success. In the business place. Victory and success. Go and receive victory and success. I have a lot of prophecy, but then I will postpone it to Thursday program by the grace of God. Because even myself, I'm trying to just finish this and have some rest. Hallelujah. Amen. You will not be among those to perish. Amen. You shall not die. Amen. You shall not perish. Amen. You shall not fall. Amen. You shall not fail. Amen. Life shall not be lost. Amen. No life shall be lost. Amen. Property shall not be lost. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Prosper in all you do. Amen. Your health. Challenge is over. Amen. You are here Amen. for all kinds of diseases. I say you are here Amen. for diabetes. You are here Amen. for hepatitis. You are here Amen. for HIV. You are here. Amen. Arthritis. You are here. Typhoid. You are here. Malaria. You are here. Amen. Joint issue. You are here. Amen. You are here. Amen. I said to your bones, come back to life. Amen. I said to the blind, receive your sight. Amen. I said to the dead, receive your ear. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, I release upon you victory. 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 I say victory. Prosper every day. Monday you are blessed. Amen. Tuesday you are blessed. Amen. Wednesday you are blessed. Amen. Thursday you are blessed. Amen. Friday you are blessed. Amen. Saturday you are blessed. Amen. If you know by the grace of God that you are the member of this ministry. I would like to see us tomorrow by four, all of us. By four o'clock. Please do endeavor to be here tomorrow. I wanted to say we should see today, but the time is on. Hallelujah. Please, if you know, I'm going to take every, every present, every present. I'm going to take the notice of every present. I'm going to put it down in writing. If you know you are a member, full member here, please be here tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. If I did not see you tomorrow, I will consider that you are not our member. And that is not how I will put your name on that list. And that is a fact. And that is the truth. Please, nothing should stop you just like imagine when you are sick and nothing should stop me to come me as your pastor to come and attend to you imagine that maybe you are dead god forbid that i said i will not come something else is holding me how will you feel how will your people feel then if you know that you will want to see me when something bad happened to you i want to see you tomorrow by four o'clock if I didn't see you, I will consider. I'm not taking any excuse. You are sick. They should carry you come as sick person. They should carry you come. Yes. Even though you are sick, they should bring you. Please don't joke with what I'm saying. Talk to those that are unable to come to service today. Please reach out to them. I know why. The Lord will help us through in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't worry, it will not be long. Not be long. I will only hold you for good two hours and then we are done. Remember, anytime I'm promising now, I'm fulfilling, right? Yes, so, let's come tomorrow. The Lord will be with you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Amen. I welcome you once again to an Akazo. God bless you so much. Amen. Truly, your daddy is not that chair up today. Are you seeing it in my move, right? Yes, Truly, I'm not chair. Up. Hallelujah. For exactly something that happened the week and uh, this lady on, I was very angry with the husband. Very, very, very angry with him. So why did you do this? Hallelujah. Why did you do this? should have just let me know that this is what is happening. Let me play my part. Go. Hallelujah. He's related to mommy. That is why I'm, I'm very, very happy. I mean, angry with him. So he can call me a, a brother-in-law. So he lost his wife. Hallelujah. They are related with mommy. They are cousins. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. Be full of joy. Amen. What I want you to know, what can keep you long in life? Be with God. And don't, when it comes to, if we can lie anyway, don't lie in the presence of God. Show, show your, your secret to God. You understand? Show your secret to God. Don't lie in his presence. That is what he hates. There are things God hates so that at the time you are in need of help, he can help you. 
Is that okay? He can help you. That's it. Truly, the way things are happening these days, and people are leaving, it's just as if they are transferring from Nigeria to UK. It's not a laughing joke. It's a serious matter. It's a serious matter. Be very, very careful. The thing is not looking at uh, the old, the, the, the smallest. No, everyone it meets. Amen. Amen. God will protect you. Amen. God will keep you. Amen. God will keep you sound. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't allow anything to deceive you. Keep on close to God. Keep on close to God. So the anointing that God can use to protect, preserve you can still be available. That is a time of grace. When the grace time God gives you is over, that is all. He can give you a grace to be healed and then he will point out whom to heal you and at the end of it you are healed no matter the sickness look like. He will point out the grace for you. There is a time of grace. But when the time of grace is over, you are joking with the time of grace. You are joking with your life. Hallelujah. Amen. When you joke with the time of grace, you are joking what? With your life. That is fact. The Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord bless us all. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we glorify you. Lord, we honor you. You are God. From the beginning to the end. Master of the universe. Blessed be your holy name. We thank you, Lord. We honor you. I commit this week. Everyone under this particular circle of our gathering, anyone under the voice of this mic, I decree, I declare over you, Amen. your life is preserved. Amen. Nothing will harm you. Amen. Nothing will harm you. Amen. If you have a health challenge, you are healed. If you have a head challenge, you are healed. Amen. If there are enemies looking for you to harm you, I decree, I declare them destroy. Amen. Your enemy be destroyed. Amen. Your enemy be destroyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God will not let you down. Amen. God will not let you fall. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every instruction God gives to you, never, never neglect it. What you do is a big problem. For that reason, I say to you, the spirit of knowledge shall come upon you. Amen. The spirit of understanding come upon you. Amen. The spirit of wisdom come upon you. Amen. The anointing of the Holy Spirit rests upon you. Amen. Give you victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Shalom. Okay, you came late. Um, you have your offering. You can bring it over.